Under the Paris Agreement, countries can work together to reach their climate commitments through climate markets. It's estimated that by 2030, climate markets could save $250 billion per year in implementing climate actions or increase the volume of emissions removed by 5 gigatons of CO2 per year. However, countries' transactions of climate assets will only lead to a global reduction in greenhouse gas emissions if those reductions are real and credible. Demonstrating this is complicated by the decentralised, bottom-up spirit of the Paris Agreement, which could lead to heterogeneous climate markets with different governance rules and technology systems. Currently, there are a variety of information systems that countries use, ranging from basic spreadsheets to sophisticated registries to store information on climate activities and assets. It's important to improve upon these systems to increase integrity and trust. A key challenge for the development of climate markets is standardising and interconnecting registry systems. The World Bank's Climate Warehouse initiative seeks to address this challenge. The Climate Warehouse was launched to be a public good metadata layer that reflects the information from connected registries using a standardised data model, making registry data easily available and traceable. The World Bank also developed a productized registry system for countries to use that is compatible with the Climate Warehouse. How does the Climate Warehouse work? The Climate Warehouse uses blockchain technology to connect registry systems, reflect registry data and trace changes to the registry data. Registry operators can connect using blockchain nodes, establishing a peer-to-peer -peer network for sharing data. If an operator makes changes to the information in their registry, the change is recorded and broadcasted to the network of connected systems. The network records the change and the information is added to a new block. The blocks added to the chain are timestamped and immutable and cannot be changed retroactively, so users can trust that the data is valid and any approved data updates are traceable. The Climate Warehouse will be operationalised in 2022. In December 2021, the World Bank completed the second simulation phase with more than 40 stakeholders, including country registry operators, independent certification standards, multilateral institutions and industry partners. The simulation participants could upload their registry data to the Climate Warehouse through an auxiliary application or an API connection. Participants could view information from the connected registries and trace any changes to the data. The testing and simulation improved understanding of peer-to-peer -peer integration across decentralised registry systems and minimum data and technical requirements. In January 2022, the World Bank initiated the third and final simulation phase in collaboration with Chia Network to run the Climate Warehouse on a public, permissionless blockchain with wider accessibility, enhanced security and lower environmental impact. Previously, the Climate Warehouse was tested on Ethereum, Hyperledger platform and blockchain as a service with Kaleido. The World Bank remains open to work with other platforms on a similar basis. The third version of the Climate Warehouse prototype is open source, interoperable and expected to be the operational version that will be rolled out by the end of 2022. The governance structure of the operational Climate Warehouse was developed through a public consultation convened by the International Emissions Trading Association, the World Bank and the Government of Singapore which involved more than 70 organisations. The Climate Warehouse initiative focuses on the potential of blockchain technology for sharing and tracking climate markets data across registry systems. Blockchain technology can help build trust and enhance transparency in decentralised climate markets and ultimately raise the ambition of international climate action. To learn more about the Climate Warehouse, please visit our website at www.theclimatewarehouse.org.